All right, guys, Kyle here. I talk TMS, Dr. Nanos. That's me. Kind TMS, Encinitas, California. You've done TMS with several manufacturers, correct? Yes. List them off for me real fast. Um, MagVenture. Mm -hmm. um, I have used uh, Neurostar and I have used Ampa and I have used ExoMind. Out of those four, you've, you've switched to, to, ExoMind. to ExoMind. Yes. That's kind of the real question I want to start with is why, why ExoMind? So a lot of the issues with the other devices have been in teaching, um, teaching my staff how to use the device. That okay. takes a long time with some of the older technology. Mm -hmm. um, and even if you're training your staff really well, it can take like four to six weeks to get the staff to really know how to um, do the treatments properly. And even then, there was a lot of interoperator variability with the, the treatments, and that created some problems when patients were being treated repeatedly and felt like they were getting a different treatment every time. Um, mm. So that, that was a little bit of an issue. And then um, patient comfort is a big deal. So this has been the most comfortable device that our patients have ever experienced, which is really cool. Comfortability. Is it because you're laying down? No, it's not. Um, because we have had patients lay down with some of the other devices okay. to uh, approach certain target areas. So it's not, it's not really that it's, it's the device itself. So the device is very unique. It uses this dual core technology. And so most of the other devices are like a figure eight like this uh -huh. and the energy focuses through the center. And what this is doing, it's like a figure eight flipped on top of itself and it creates. And so when you're doing the figure eight, it's a very sharp pinpoint um, yeah. treatment. When you flip it the other way to the dual core, to dual core coil, um, <laughs> it's a much softer diffuse treatment and it's recruiting more, um, is more pathways within the neural, that same neural network in the DLPFC in particular, if we're talking about that. Um, and so it's also getting people better a little bit faster. So traditionally with the older devices, if say you're doing like a 36 day, single day treatment, mm -hmm. um, it would take maybe 15 to 25 days to pay for patients to start to see any improvement. And with ExoMind, we're seeing it in like six or seven treatments, which is pretty remarkable. And we have a lot of data showing that. Okay. Still once a day? For the once a day treatments, okay. yes. ExoMind does do multiple times a day? Yes. Multiple treatments a day? Yes. Does the progress increase, number one? Does the time span cut down? So if I'm doing two sessions in two days, should I expect the same results? two sessions one day? It depends on what protocols you're doing, mm -hmm. what target areas, if you're doing an ITBS, a theta burst protocol, a traditional protocol, like it, it really depends on what you're treating and how aggressively you're you're doing that. ExoMind will do theta burst? Of course, okay. yeah. Yeah, that's all we do. At kind? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So ExoMind gives you a lot of flexibility to do the most advanced TMS protocols and the most basic. Okay. So there's some pre-programmed protocols in there. Um, there's a traditional MDD protocol that's 18 minutes at 10 hertz. And then there's the protocol two, which is uh, kind of sort of like I call it TMS light. It's not as intense as the other one. And those are just pre-programmed in there for people to use, making it simple for people who are new to TMS. But if you're an advanced TMS practitioner, you can go in there and change the settings to whatever you want to do.